Yo, 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 what's up, MG fam? It's your boy, Coach McGruff. I'm back, back with another episode in the Texas Southern Dynasty here on NCAA Basketball 10. Man, I appreciate you guys for riding with your boy, man. We in season two, ready to go up against a Nebraska's team, man. Power five school, man. We ready to see how we fare. But first, we're going to get into some recruiting because we were able to free up three scholarships. And let's check it out, baby. Let's see who we got to look forward to. So you can see right here, Devin Chapman, man, a point guard. We need some point guards for next year because we only have one. One, and that's my boy McPherson, who is an upperclassman. And we're looking to put somebody behind him so he can learn how to, you know, get ready to play for Coach McGruff. So we're going to send this guy some emails, you know, letters of interest and see how he feels. He's from Belfast. And, you know, we're going to try to get him up in here. So the next guy we're going to do is Mr. Capers here. He's a passer scorer here from Leeds, Alabama. We're going to do the same for him, man. Two point guards. He's number 62 ranked. 312 in the nation not the best but i believe he'll fit in very well as a passer score so also like you guys can tell right here we're gonna just try to get one more place we got three scholarships so we're gonna go and check out the center here leon calloway number 60 in the nation as a center 6 10 to 15 man finally we'll have a big time center down there 6 10 almost hitting seven foot and he's gonna be able to help out and back up my boy soto immediately and it's gonna help us out he's right from down the street in aldine texas so you know it should be a pretty easy to nab him so as you can see man we're on our position breakdown we got the uh, point guard position is pretty weak we need a couple more players there to back up my boy mcpherson you can see the three scholarships man we're gonna try to lock up two players in the season already so you already know what time it is man we're about to go up against nebraska a power five school man it should be very very interesting how this thing plays out going to show how we fare against big time schools you know big programs at big schools but man i appreciate you guys watching it man let's get to the game baby the tigers are undefeated coming into this one dick but as any coach will tell you just because you haven't lost doesn't mean you can't these guys have to walk with a swagger but can't be too confident going into tonight's game and of course, here's our starting lineup. You need your starting five to be the unit who will be intense and also understand what the coach wants early in the game. Go, we finally going up against some script competition here as the tip off hits and we ready. So you can see right here, Nebraska got the ball first, baby. Look at that big point guard they have right there. Number 34, man, he's looking like twice the size of my boy McPherson, but we're going to try to hold him down. So we know the big boy at point guard going to try to get to the paint and he does. And he's a little spin, but he tried to go up there and get Soto, man. Early foul on my boy Soto, but good defense. This guy right here is not afraid. You can see right here, baby, Coach McGruff, he's ready, baby. Got his arms full. You can see we got my boy McPherson ready to go for it. So bringing it up down by two here. We're going to set a pick with my boy Soto. If we can get some room in the paint. And we find my boy Vilma in the corner. But we're going to kick it back out and let my boy Fear get that midi. Y'all know that mid-range game is on point for that kid. He's ready to go. So you can see here they pushing it up court, baby. Number 34, man. He's trying to use his size against my boy McPherson. But McPherson is a... Uh, upperclassman and he's able to handle you know his defensive assignments very well so they're gonna try to you know ice us up man you know they're half court team and look at my boy soto he's not backing down from anything and we pushing him my boy vilma got it full court he's gonna dish it out to my boy buckley we get it down bottom to my boy augustine and we pass it back to ville from deep buckets baby Big deep three from Vilma, man. I didn't even know the kid had range like that. So we up by six, bro. Six with 12 minutes left. They're at the line, and he misses that when Augustine gets it off the glass, and Vilma is pushing it, bro. We come here to the Power 5 schools, let these guys know, hey, we ain't no scrubs. And a nice pass down to Soto. We're going to still try to figure out something here. All right, so I see my boy Buck down over there in the corner. Can we get it to somebody, Vilma? And we pass it back to Augustine. What you got, big Aug? Oh, said he ain't got nothing there, so we pass it up to McPherson. Let's set a pick here. 
for my boy Soto. Soto, oh, my boy Buckley in the corner. You know he watching, baby. He keep leaving them. What is wrong with the defenses this year? They don't know this guy, man. What they need for him to do, drop another 50-point game. Man, we got to show him. So we set the pick here with my boy Augustine and Fear. And who in the corner? My boy Vilma. And he misses it, but Augustine gets the board and put it back, baby. That's what the freshman does. That's what it feels like to have a big-time players down bottom this year. We ready to roll. All right, so... We got it here. Up by five still, man. Can we pull the upset? This would be a big win for Coach McGruff. A big quality win for our tournament chances. And look at Vilma, the best defensive player on our team. Gets a block almost each game. And let's go. My young boy Murphy there. And Moslin gets it. We're going to have to chill out with it. My boy Bassey puts the power there. But we was able to miss that one, man. That's not a, a good shot. Not a high quality shot. So Murphy's up there at the perimeter playing D right now. That young fella has came alive for us, man. If we had to choose the freshman off the bench that does his thing, it's got to be Murphy. But you see the guy got in there and sauce him up, though. That's something you can't defend. So also, you see, man, they're coming back. They're coming back. We're only up by three here, and we got the big dog up top. You see us? Come on, Murphy. Let's see if you can hang with these big boys. They think they're better than us on paper, but we got better. We got bigger bigger hearts than these guys look at him he saw us taking them to the paint bro we got to be able to stop these guys from getting down bottom that's their game they want to get to the low post let's see what we got here my boy bassy we pass it down bottom gonna try something there look at we got moles up top moles and find anything call for a screen over here with my boy vilma can we get it to the paint nothing is there for him we pass it back to calhoun calhoun can you get a nice move not able to get anything in the paint here so we're gonna get it back down bottom man and try our luck not much going on there they holding us man they're making us use the clock but we got my boy bassy down there he get down there under the basket is almost automatic bro it's great to have a slasher a great inside scorer on your team all right so my boy Vilma i'm gonna try to take the charge there get up young fella okay so the defense is there and but he still gets it and knocks it off man we had a couple chances to get the ball back there but wasn't able to capitalize Let's go. All right, so Murphy's up there, man. This young fella is a shooting guard, but he's taking command of the second team, man. He's, you know, he's young. He makes mistakes just like you saw just now, but he takes command of the second team like it's his, and I like the heart that this kid plays where he's going to be pretty good in the near future. All right, so they got it up top here. They get it to number three over there in the corner. They're going to try to get their plays in the bottom. You know, they love that paint. He pulls a midi and got that. That's the play that they want every game. So we're finally trailing here. Down by three, but man, we can't allow these guys to get up on us too much. And my boy Fury get to the paint, but he misses Soto down there with the board. Offensive boards have came to us so much this year when we got those guys down there banging hard, man. The first team and the second team doesn't never give up on the offensive glass. Let's go. So still down by three here. My boy Bassey got the steal and gets it to my boy McPherson. He sees Butley over there, and we lose it ourselves, and they're running the other way with it. And Big Homie gets there and make a layup off the backboard. Shepard is doing his thing. Six points, three for five, shooting. McPherson, we got to capitalize, man. We got to make up for that play there. See what we got. He finding Soto up top. No, we don't want Soto to shoot, but my boy Buck pulls that thing dead in their face, bro. Eight points, three for five, shooting. We got to let him go off. All right, so the double team is there up top, baby. The crowd is going crazy. That should have been a steal for us, and he gets it all the way to the paint. Man, that's one thing about playing full-court press is that you got to be back. You got to get back, or else they're going to run the floor on you. All right, so they got it over there in the corner. We're trying to get a double team. Can't be able to get it called here. They see the guy down bottom in the paint. They're trying to pass it to him. He's waving for it. And, man, they find they got number 30 there, and he gets in there and jam it, yo. That's all they want. They want those inside passes. So the end of the half here is coming. My boy Fear got it, and he passed it over there to my boy Augustine, and he hits the fadeaway bucket in the end of the first half. He got the buzzer beater, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Big homie laid that thing back was and went with it. Good play. But on both sides of the ball, man. Starting this thing off the first half. Very competitive game. We're only down by three, man. But we can still fight our way back into this one. 
All right, so you can see, man, we shooting 38% from the floor, man. That's not good. 30% free throw shooting, three-point shooting. I say free throw, but they shooting zero, man. long as we can hold these guys right at this point, I believe we can pull away eventually. But the 38% field goal percentage is not going to make it. It's not going to help us out in this game. We're going to have to hit the hit those baskets a little more at a higher rate. So let's see what we got in the second half. All right, so they're bringing it up, and, and we're still down by three here. The beginning of the second half, we're going to try to get a steal here. And we were able to get it, and my boy Vilma is running the floor with it. Can you give us something nice finger roll? Vilma, he got it to him, baby. That first break, that's what we need, some defensive pressure. That's what we're going to bring real quick, man. If we can get Vilma to get a little quicker on the break, if he can get a little faster next year, man, he'll be unstoppable. And he takes it all the way to the paint. They're able to break that full-court press, man, with that big point guard. He's not a afraid to get you know go body to body with us all right so fear got it here we only down by two i find vilma in the corner and we set the pick and he goes to the paint with it and he got contact get the board back itself and almost lose it they'll pass it back in the corner to buckley at least we got a chance with it and my boy augustine got it in a nice way to throw up the hook shot for the, the two points there and we break back with it baby it's tied up this is our chance right here to take the lead we're going to have to step out in front of it. We get a steal here. It'll be great. Able to get our hands on it. Try to cherry pick there, but nothing was there. So we got to get back on D, man. They're going to pass it down bottom. Soto, can you get another block? Oh, he faked them out up and under and got another basket, man. We got to stay on our feet. All right, so up top here, man, we're still down by two. This team plays a half-court game, so it's, the point's going to be limited this game. Oh, and he knocks that when it clinks off the right, left side of the rim. And we going with it, baby. We got a couple players up there. I see in the corner my boy Moseley. Moseley hit one for us, baby. Knock it down, man. Moseley was hitting more three-pointers last year. But this year, not at such a high rate. All right, so we going with it. They got it back up top. Let's see what we got, baby. They're going to try to penetrate. We got to keep our... We got to stay into the in the paint, bro. We can't let these guys get in that paint as easy as they want to. You see, they keep trying. We got to stay with it, bro. All right, so they're going with it. Let's see where they're going down. I see the bottom. They're going to try to pass it down bottom. You can see it coming right there. Wrap around. He pulls a midi. Boy, that was a wide open shot. They were very strategic on the shots they take, man. They're not going to take all type of shot, not high volume. They're going to take the highest quality shot they got. All right, so he in the corner. We know he's not shooting a three, but he pulls it midi. Oh, man, they climbing in front of us right now, man. We got to get a rush. So the tempo is balanced right now in between both, and they playing better at the balanced tempo than we are. We got to get the pace up to our liking. All right, so we pass it to Soto, and we get the foul there. Brian Shepard goes and get his first foul, man. We're going to have to try to get to the line from here on out to, you know, get back into this game because we do not have the horses as of yet. To run with these guys second team man that second team is getting us you know in foul trouble and causing us a lot of trouble so he knocks down the first free throw here and we'll be able to nod it up that's what it that's what it means to have a decent free throw shooting team in hostile environments because you got to be able to knock these down and he hit two man having a big center able to knock down a three those free throws it's great all right so we get a steal here man the score is still tied and we can we find something in the paint my boy Soto is right there. We find Vilma. You know the screen is coming, baby. The screen in the midi. He misses it, but Soto cleans the glass, baby. The glass cleaner, baby. Soto don't leave anything on the offensive board. All right, so the point guard got to hit number 34. You know he's going to pull that fade away. It's off, though, baby. He keep trying, my boy McPherson. And we see we got Soto there and my boy Fear. Oh, we almost lost that when they saved it. But, hey, look at the game Soto is having, you guys. 14 points, 4 for 7, and 8 rebounds. He about to clean up double-double, the unsung hero. I'm surprised he got he going off like that. Y'all see the offensive boards he's been getting and keeping us in this game. So we up by two here. My boy McPherson passes back down to my boy Calhoun. Can you do something with it, Cal? Nothing there for my boy Calhoun. We pass it to Bassey. And let's see if he can do a little something with it. Nothing there. We see in the corner, baby. Who else but Buckley? What is wrong with these guys with the double team? Y'all must even want to give us three every time. So on the inbound here, we up by five, baby. We up by five. So you know their center is going to try to do his thing. They're not shooting any three-pointers. They must don't have many great three-point shooters on their team, man. I'm surprised a team from the Power 5 conferences are not shooting threes like that. And look at the big center down there. They know they want it in the paint, bro. They can beat us down bottom, but we're not allowing them to score as many points as they want in the paint. So let's stay with it, my boy Murphy. 
We're going to roll with it. The young boys. Oh, he loses it, but we're... Oh, I thought it was going out of bounds, but it's, we saved it and we passed it to the paint. And who else but Calhoun, man? Calhoun is the MVP off the bench, bro. That guy gives us a lot of great minutes every game. So we're up here by eight points, baby. Three minutes left. This is how we want it. So he's going to try to dribble out of that thing. But no, sir. Can we try to get a backcourt on him? And yes, sir. A backcourt on the point guard. Stop being selfish and pass the ball if you want to win a game. Coach McGruff, stand up on the sideline. He's ready for it. So let's go, McPherson. Set the pick, baby. Team ball is all we play. And, you know, we're looking for a teammate here. And we find my boy Vilma. Let's get it down to Big Soto. Soto, what you got? Pass it back to Ville. Set that pick. See if we can get a little bit of penetration calls he got. And I see Soto going to the paint. And look at him knocking off the board, baby. Big Soto. Big time Soto. That's what we need. He doing his thing, bro. He coming alive. We got a lot of freshman phenoms on this team. Oh, so he gets that one back, man. We thought we had a steal there. Bro, you can see those freshmen, they're coming alive, man. We might become one-and-done university. You never know. We get enough quality um players. Look at my boy Buck. Made a fake out. Pass it to Soto. Soto go 5-1 for deep. Yeah, nah, you ain't doing it like that, Soto. But look who's down to his brother, bro. Augustine to clean the board up, bro. These guys clean the board with the best of them. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so they're going to try to push it all the way. Gosh, he bullied his way in the paint and get an and one. They're only down by six right now. And you can see my boy McPherson been able to hold Gary Royal to, you know, a two for 11, bro. I know he's upset with himself, but McPherson said, I don't care if he's two times bigger than me. He's still going to go at you. So they're down by five with one minute left. They don't have much of a choice. So we're going to try to run the clock out here a little bit and see if these guys, you know, foul or anything because they're going to try to foul us at the last few minutes because of the fouling we got a great free throw shooting team and let's get it to the corner Buckley's there let's see if we can get something no moves in the post there all right we're going to pass it back out and we're going to make them foul us yo set the pick but we're going to stand right here in the corner and we're going to make them foul us. so they're starting to foul you know what that mean? That's the that's the victory, <laughs> the victory move there. So you see my boy Butler, bro, 27 points a game. He didn't score 27 this game, but hey, he did what he needed to do, and he knocks down the first free throw to give us up, to put us up by two possessions, bro. We're up by two possessions, 35 seconds left. Can he knock this one now? And he clanks that one off the front of the of the free throw. Not the front of the free throw, but the front of the rim, man. Let's go. We almost got a steal there. And can he save it? No, that would have ended the game there. 32 seconds left. Let's stay with these guys, bro. He knocks it. Let's go. All right, so they're going to try to see if they can get a three-pointer here. And you know they're going to pull it. They got the wrong person with the ball there. He's going to pull it. And he misses it. And it gets the offensive board. And he misses it. Another offensive board. He misses it. Oh, man. Good defense there. We should have got the offensive board. I mean, the defensive rebound early, man. But you see Buckley go back to the line, man. Can you hit both of them for us, Buck? Man, they've put this game out of reach. These guys think they got a chance. Let's go. All right. So the first one, he's good for one at least. He's not the best free throw shooter on the team. He can shoot threes, but something wrong with standing still for him. He can't hit a free throw. I mean, he can't hit two free throws back to back. Can we get him? Let's go. And he misses it again. 50% from the line this game. <laughs> Come on, Buck, man. You got to put him out of reach. So 15 seconds left, baby. Oh, we almost got another steal. Oh, they get it back. We should have had that. That would have been a nice way to finish the game. So, And he pulls up a three-pointer. He misses it. And we got it. And they're going to foul my boy Soto also, man. 4.3 seconds left. And, baby, they're going to foul Soto like they got a chance. He's down by seven, brother. So you see Soto here, 16 points. Six for eight from the line and five for nine from the floor, bro. That is crazy. Big time play from this guy, man. He, he stepped up, man. Big time plays, man. He's a great player. I can see right now Soto, you know, being probably Mountain West Conference first team. We might have a bunch of freshmen up there. So he misses both of those, man. But he's been pretty good from the line all game. And if it wasn't for Soto, we wouldn't get this victory right here, baby. Big time. Big way for this kid to step up, man. His biggest game so far this year. We look to have a lot more. 16 points, 9 rebounds. And, man, we, we looking like we can handle these Power 5 schools, man. Nebraska is no slouch. They maybe lost one game already this season out of three. But, hey, we able to bang with them. And, buddy, we might be... 
in the top 25 soon if we keep going where at the pace we're going so man we loving it so i appreciate you guys for watching this video hit that like and subscribe button that notification bell and holla at your boy let's go